race car makes a hard left-hand turn down pit road, and drivers are ready to get it rolling here for 60 laps, 60 laps around this 2.5 mile over known as Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Green flag has flown in. Josh Parker heads it down to the turn number one. Connor McKenzie's slow start on the outside. John Adams pushing it right behind him, and Josh Parker is the hit turn number one. Connor McKenzie now up onto the high side. Absolutely not the place to be right now as he's going to fall into line into the third spot. These drivers now once again hitting another turn. There's four turns here and a lot of straightaways. So having that power down the straightaway, having that aerodynamic advantage, if you will, is going to pay off. Now, Josh Parker, your leader. And it looks like John Adams once again in second spot. Now, here comes a battle for the second spot. Derek Cash down to the inside, side by side as they hit turn number three. Got to give some room there. And it looks like John Adams is going to fight back on the high side. Drive it in there. Oh, Cash sideways. And that allows John Adams to get up to the outside now and he's going to pull ahead now powering outside of josh parker now cash back down to the inside side by side there's wreck in the back one car i see one car around uh doesn't look like the yellow flag's out right now the number one car has gone around that is will Replay bell is ready we're going to kick it over to matt racing kid thomas matt what happened there here we go watch these guys in the corner somebody uh, the 18 car him and the one car got uh together will bell up on the high side and uh one car gets around, another car also gets down to the grass. The 16 of Dennis Taylor, he gets around. 18 of uh, Chris Cunningham. A uh, little contact with the one car, and that's what uh, caused the majority of that contact down there. Yeah, looking at the uh, number seven get down into the corner there. He's underneath the uh, 12 car, pinches it down a little bit, and then uh, almost has it saved, locks it up, is sitting there sideways, and wow, it gets contact for somebody. Does about three 360s in the air, then does a barrel roll to top it off. So a pretty good Joey Chitwood impersonation there for the seven car of Doug Caddick. Here. We knew that was only a matter of time. Now three black bumpers of Connor McKenzie trying to make the move down to the inside as well. Josh Parker, very, very fast here tonight. Fastest car uh, in qualifying was your pole sitter. Now Cash trying to go to the inside as they clear the number 15. And Cash is going to drive it in there, make the move down to the inside, use the apron to help it turn. And they're going to be side-by-side side coming out of turn number four. And, oh, wreck in front of him, the 13. And, oh, Parker gets jacked up in the 11 right into his hood. And the 15 of Jason Gavori spinning around on the straightaway one, two, four times around. The number 11 of Ian Flash, Josh Parker, had nowhere to go, sucked him into the outside wall. And heavy, heavy damage for the number 11, the number 6. And I don't think Jason got any damage, but uh, we're going to see on a replay exactly what happened. But you pretty much saw it for yourself right there, getting a replay queued up for you. I don't see a lot of suspension damage on the number six of Josh Parker. I believe he got it woe down in time. It would be interesting to see also an in-car view of Josh Parker if we could. All right, replay is ready. We're going to kick it over to Matt Racing Kid Thomas. Matt, what would you see? Yeah, we're watching the 11 car. We were just watching Parker. We were just getting up to this battle. You can see the 12 and the 11, 13 and 11. 13 kind of drifts up into him, and then Parker, you see nowhere to go there. And then the 15, wow, the 13 car uh, pretty much flies out of the park here. I'm not sure where he went. Uh, the yellow car was in the screen, then out of the screen. But the 11 car definitely uh, had some uh, pretty good contact out there. And uh, Parker gets caught up in that, just nowhere to go. Track was blocked in front of him, so... He's going to have some uh, damage out there, and he's going to have to come in the pits and uh, fix Cash that. Cash can't figure out where to go. Here comes Cryer. He's going to go to the outside as well, trying to stick down on the number two. Adam's trying to pinch him down to get a run on the high side, and he's going to take it down the back straightaway. But look at the motor and Batista trying to pile back in there. And even with the drafting help on the outside, Batista still has the position on the inside, and he's going to drive it on in there. Adam's still trying to make it up. But oh, he gets loose. He hits Adam's around. Everyone, Cryer, Cash involved. Huge wreck. This is the big one. Everyone involved. Oh, Batista pushed up and got John Adams. And the rest, my folks, is history. And that is it. For, and uh, Batista now driving through the grass. He spins out again down there. Chris Cunningham involved again. Paul Strickland Jr. involved. Will Bell involved again. He's back out on the track. Doug Caddick. Derek Cash. Derek Cash got a little rear end damage right there. He looks straight. I'm watching him down the front straightaway. John Adams. Oh, the fastest car on the track all night. Crab walking. The tow, the caster, the camber, everything knocked out of that car. And we're going to queue it up here and show you exactly what happened. I do not think that John Adams can make it around back to pit road replay is ready matt thomas we saw what happened but why don't you walk us through it and uh show us exactly what happened 
Yeah, we're going to watch this again. You see the two and the uh, five. The two just slides up just a little bit into the five. And then everybody behind him is going to uh, get collected a little bit there. And uh, saw the uh, 13 car once again gets upside down. And uh, just a, a lot of mayhem down there in the uh, turn three and four area. And you see all the cars in the grasp. I'm going to take another look at this and see exactly what happened there. The end of the race now is the battle for the lead is heating up. Adams all over the back of Cryer goes to the high side now. Side by side, power move by Adams down the back straightaway. Cryer, a little bit more motor. He's going to pull ahead uh, down on the inside line there. <laughs> John Adams going to keep it out there. He's going to try to dive it off in there. And Plash down to the inside. Adams trying to make it work. Plash gets a little bit loose now. Plash down to the inside. Almost three wide. They are three wide. Plash not giving. Cryer not giving. Oh, they contact. Plash is around. The number 11, Plash, is around. And he's hard into the outside wall. And other cars wrecking in front of him. Spinning out the 12 and the 9 of Steve Lovender. Yellow flag is out. And, oh, Lovender hits again. And uh, guess what? He needs to go down pit road while he's right there. But he's going to pull back out onto the track. Yellow number 9 in the books is now Lovender going after Josh Batista, kind of going after him a little bit, a little bit of uh, Kyle Busch right there, uh, Bruce Saltzman, heavy contact right there, yellow number nine Inside. in the books. Adams, where's he going to go? Cryer, oh, makes contact. John Adams gets sideways. Here comes McKenzie back in. Uh, the 17 into the outside wall again. Now on the outside of Cryer, still single file right now, the top two. John Adams and Connor McKenzie. Where did they come from? Involved in wrecks early. Got the cars repaired, and they're back now. One more shot. Connor's got one more shot if he can make it happen. John Adams trying to drive the defensive line down the back straightaway right now. McKenzie going to go up high, try to get a great run into turn number three, maybe set him up for turn number four for the final time. Here they go. McKenzie now trying to go down to the inside. Adams to block. Gets a little loose. Here they come into turn number four for the final time. They go and climb in the banking in turn number four, coming to the front straightaway. McKenzie's going to get a huge run. Is he going to bump him? He tries. Oh, they touch. Oh, he gets loose. Rear bumper out of the leader here. Look, where's McKenzie going? Low, high. What an awesome race this has been now. Is her side by side? Cryer trying to make the move. Everyone all over the place. McKenzie to block. Three wide across the line. And give the win to John Adams. Oh, my God. What an awesome race that was. Uh, if you stuck around to watch that, that was absolutely amazing. Your winner, John Adams, followed by Connor McKenzie and Alan Cryer. Ian Plash is going to come home fourth. Christopher Sweat, after giving it a great run, is going to come home in the fifth position.